Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new knife from QSP and that is the QSP Penguin Slip Joint. So we're going to do a bit of an unboxing and a first impressions and then a few weeks down the line I'll give you sort of my full, full sort of review of this. So we'll take a look at the box first. You can see you have this sort of, it almost looks like a stonewashed box. Obviously it's cardboard but you can see you've got that, the white texturing in there to make it look stonewashed. So you have the QSP logo here with their slogan better knife better life and it's pretty plain all the way around the box on the back you can see the label from Heine Haynes where I picked it up from and you can see the model number for this one is QS 130 SJC and that is the QSP Penguin SJ for slip joint and mine is in the blue G10 and apart from that you can see the logo on the side there sorry the label on the side there from QSP it's got a 14C 28N blade and that's satin and the blue G10 handle. And of course this is made in China. So inside the box, you do get a couple of different bits and pieces. You get a sort of spec card here from QSP. It says, greetings, thanks for choosing Q QSP knife. We hope you enjoy it. Here are some specifications about your knife. So you can see we have an overall length of 7.08 inches. You have a blade length total of 3.02 or 77 millimeters, which is pretty much that bang on the money for UK legal. You do have a 4.06 handle, and it tells you about the lanyard hole, the height, the depth, things like that. And this one is 14C28N. They are releasing a, a sort of a high range, uh, sorry, like a, a higher value one, which has 20 CV, but this is just the 14C28N. Still a fantastic seal, really great option. A bit more information on the back there, and a QR code if you wish to pause and scan that. You also get a couple of stickers, so you get this little penguin that says have a knife day and then the sort of QSP sort of fox or wolf there with the knife in his mouth. So two nice stickers there as well. And then you get the knife inside this little baggie in like a felt cutout, very similar to you'd get in a Rough Rider knife with the QSP logo on the front there. So let's just pop all this to the side. So here it is, this is the QSP Penguin slip joint. You can see right away that really grippy blue micarta. You do have a pivot here, and then you have two T6 screws. On the rear of the knife, you can see the pivot has a T8 Torx bit there, and again, two T6 Torx bits on the back. You do have that lanyard tube, which goes all the way through the knife, through the back spring as well. You can see we have perfect centering, absolutely bang on. Do have a flat on the top here, which is letting you know as well that it's gonna have a half stop. And we have steel liners and a steel spring. And you can see from the fit and finish there that it pretty much looks like one solid bit, but there is definitely liners in there. You can see them at the top here, but the construction of this is absolutely fantastic. It's been hafted wonderfully. There's no rough edges at all. It's beautifully smooth. Nice sort of satin polish there on the liners and the spring. And then a really nice even termination, nice 90 degree corners on that termination at the bottom. You can see on the blade, you do have this fuller that goes about two thirds of the way down the blade with the QSP logo there as well. You can sort of use your nail to open it, but there's enough of the blade. I sort of pinch it a bit like this into the half stop and then a nice snap open into the fully open position. You can see 14C28N we have there on this really beautiful satin modified Warncliffe blade, I would say. Maybe sort of sheep's foot blade. But you can see this the wonderful flat grind there, and it does come down to a really fine edge. Not quite as fine as the QSP Hedgehog, because that had a hollow grind. And this wants to keep, you know, as much origin, origin as the original penguin as possible. But we do have pretty much the same handle shape, where you have that sort of the ramp here to stop your hand moving forward. And again, this little ramp at the back sort of keeps your hand in that position. And one thing I do like about the slip joint version is this really nice forward finger choil. So you can really choke up on the knife. You're not anywhere near the, the point of the knife there. There's enough of a gap there and you feel really secure when using this. It's an exceptionally strong back spring. Just listen to the walk and talk on this. It 
I would say that's an easy seven pull, maybe seven and a half, pretty much ideal for a work knife. And definitely one this is gonna be, it's got a nice, nice sort of chunky blade stock. So you can know you get some work done with that. You do have that fuller on both sides as well. Take a look at the edge grind on this. And as you'd expect from QSP, it's identical all the way down both sides and it's screaming sharp out of the box. You can see there is no milling or anything like that on the inside, just nice and clean. And there is a stop pin there, which you can see just about, just about here. You can kind of see the little bit of the line just in here. That's where the stop pin would hit. And it does stop any blade wrap on there as well. So there's no contact with the back spring. This has been one I've sort of been waiting for for a very long time. And I'm really impressed with the first impressions of this. I love the blue G10. It's nice and vibrant, really grippy. And it feels like it's going to be a nice safe knife in hand while you're working. Not too sure about the lanyard hole being there, same as I was about the original Penguin. It's sort of in the grip, so it's going to either the lanyard's going to come out and it's going to feel like it's going to be in the way like it was on the original. Would have been nice to see maybe if they put it, I guess they can't really put it at the bottom, but maybe if they just got rid of it altogether, or maybe had a lanyard post around this, this pivot here instead, because it would have been a bit more out of the way then. So we'll take a look at some overall specs. I know I read them off the card, but we'll take a look in person as well. So you can see we have a full handle length of one, two, three, four, about 4.1 inches. We have a full blade length. Just get that lined up nicely. Looks pretty much bang on the three inch mark, maybe a tad over. And then a cutting edge of one, two, two and three quarters. So in my view, this is a UK friendly knife. It is on the border of the three inches. So it does depend if you do get stopped, who sort of reviews the knife for you. As I know, some police might look at this and just think it's the, the actual cutting edge that's the lawn. Some might think it's the full blade length. But what you do have to consider as well, they're gonna measure it from this point or this point down here, or even this point over here. But as I said, I'm not a lawyer or anything like that. I would have no problem at all carrying this. I will be carrying it and using it extensively over the next couple of weeks to put it to its full tests. I want to make sure this gets a really good review because it's one I know a lot of us have been waiting for for a long time. And I was really happy when this came into stock and was able to pick it up. So there we go, guys. That's my review or first impressions, I should say, of the QSP Penguin slip joint. I will give you that model number again one more time. <clears throat> that is... QS130SJ-C, it's 14C28N, it's a satin blade with a blue G10 handle. So there we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out.